Hey everybody. So if you got a Toyota like this, you more than likely have experienced that engine trouble code 21. Now engine code 21 strictly just says O2 sensor. But if you're like me and you've changed that O2 sensor and it still hasn't fixed your problem, well then take a look at what I found and this may help you with your truck. So what I did after replacing the O2 sensor was check the O2 sensor wiring. It all goes into the computer here, located in passenger's uh, kick panel, which has already been conveniently removed by me. And uh, all the wiring from the O2 sensor to the computer was good. So then I noticed there was four Phillips screws on top and I decided to open it up. this cover popped you can see hopefully, this little guy down here is burnt along with that one beside it this little brown thing down here and this little blue one here all those are burnt and what I figured out is that this uh, pink wire Right here with the green, this pink wire right here with the green is from the O2 sensor and that goes in right down there and it actually corresponds with that circuit with all the burnt pieces on it. So what I did was I went looking at a record yard for a new computer and none of them had this number. This one is a 16 pin plug, a 26 pin plug, and a 22 pin plug. And none of them had that. I could have bought them just for a couple of those parts and re-soldered them, but they still wanted 50 bucks. So I ordered one off eBay. This is my eBay computer. It's the same part number, uh, same three pin or three plugs, 26 pin, 16 pin, 22 pin. I haven't even opened this thing up yet, but pretty sure it's gonna work. So we're just gonna install this computer real quick and see if that fixes our problem. So one other thing I need to do before I swap these computers is I gotta change these mounts. This is the mount off of mine, obviously, and this is the same mount off of this one. It's been bent. So we're just gonna replace that. This one here has been bent a bit too. Not as bad, uh, but this one's only got one screw on it now, so we might as well replace them. Alright, so here we go. I actually put this and this in the wrong spot, so I just went and fixed that off camera. If any of you guys watching this caught that, well, good on you, because I didn't catch it until I went to put it in here. So we're just going to plug these in. There's only one spot for each. Way to go, Toyota. Thank you. So plugged in, ready to go. Should I hard mount it now or just leave it there? I think I'm gonna hard mount it because I have a real good feeling that this is gonna fix the problem. All right, for this job, it's probably just easier to uh, get rid of the floor mat because you do have to go underneath the carpet. There's a couple of spots here.
course, that guy's gonna be the hardest to get in. That, they're at my finger. There's this little tab. It has to get in that hole. Maybe I'll just get a pliers real quick. We got the trusty old pliers here. We'll give it a nice bend. Hopefully it'll fit in there. Just like so. And looks like the rest of the holes somewhat line up, so we'll start a bolt. Make sure you start them all, but don't tighten them up because some of these holes don't line up super well. Grab your trusty old 10 mil with a nice little stubby ratchet. I love this little thing. Can't over tighten anything. your trusty old floor mat slap her back in there keep your mint carpet looking mint don't forget this uh, rubber nut it does go right here factory it's real nice just like that now what all the super duper smart people tell you is Clear all your codes, you should undo your battery, like so, one-handed of course. So everybody knows this is the negative, it's just got a red wire on it because I replaced the ground to the fender with a red wire because that's all I had. You take the positive and the negative, disconnected, and you're supposed to touch them together. See if we can do that. Bam. Hold them like that until a little moth flies into your eye. Think about 10 seconds or so. You're supposed to just discharge anything and make it all good to go. So now slap those back on and see what you got. So now if you did everything right and you got your used computer from a good guy, not a jerk, everything should be good. We should be able to start this old beast and uh, shouldn't have a jack engine light, hopefully. And just like that, no jack engine light. I got the brake light on though. Can't win them all. So now this thing should get way better mileage. I was getting about 16 miles to the gallon in this thing, and I know the three liter Toyota, the three VZE isn't really that good on power or on fuel economy, but I think a three liter V6 should get a little bit better than 16 miles to the gallon which actually I think is about 16 liters per 100 kilometers if you're going that way. So, I'm stoked that that is off. Let's take her for a spin. Well, everybody, there you have it. She's running like, uh, I mean, it's kind of running about the same. It never really sounded bad or anything, just that check engine light was on and it just got really bad gas mileage. So check engine light's still off and actually the brake light's off now I, it was just my parking brake was on a little bit just a click a click or two but yeah that's really cool i'm actually pretty excited that i got that fixed i know reading on forums and such that this code 21 on these old toyotas these eight, uh, 89 to 95 toyota pickups 
it's actually sometimes really hard to track down and I thought hey I'll just do an O2 sensor it was cheap and still didn't fix it trace those wires wires were mint and uh, then I just happened to look in that in that ECM and seen some really bad shit so you know if you guys are having a problem with your Toyota trouble code 21 pop that computer out and take a look because that just might be your problem too so there you guys have it all fixed running real nice so if you like these kind of trucks or you just like watching people work on stuff stay tuned because i got a few other things to do with this old girl got the cab corners both sides are pretty rotten uh it used to be red gonna paint it red along with some other things needs bumpers probably fix this deck up and stuff so the next one though, we'll catch you guys later.